What's up, everyone? Welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to Sephora's Horizon 5 with a brand new week, which means new races, new challenges, new festival playlist. And I'm going to be doing the trial again because people will seem to really enjoy when I do the trial. So that's what's going to happen for today's video. Also, new cars. We're going to get the, uh, the SVT Mustang here as well once we get our uh, 20 points, which I am definitely going to get. I'll make a video on that tomorrow. For tomorrow, or tomorrow, I don't know. I'll, I'll make a video for it, and it'll be out tomorrow anyway on the, on that Mustang. So that should be very interesting. However, like I said, I want to try and do this week's trial because people seem to enjoy these videos, and I enjoy doing it. And uh, yeah, that's what's happening today. So let's see. Am I going to carry my team to victory again? Am I going to get carried to victory this time? I don't know. I don't know. It is most likely going to be a road race this time around. It is. This was a street race. Because we've had it like... I think change. I think the summer was uh, was the summer like on road racing or off road racing. I think I think the summer ones were all on road, if I remember correctly, and then all these were off road races, and then in the winter time we're back to the driving on road again. I don't even know to be honest with you. There's like there's a bunch of different ones here. Regardless, um, yeah, the uh, the new Mustang and the new Raptor R is is there, and we're, we're about to get those. I think also this, I don't know if that if those lines are actually legit, people actually doing races, or is it just them uh, bringing up the lines? So, so I, I think this week we're probably going to end up catching up with the Mustang. Watch, watch that happen, by the way. Without people even realizing it, but watch, watch that happen. So we're doing this. We need Super Saloons and A-Class 800. Do I have any Super Saloons? I think I do, actually. I, do, I think I do have some Super Saloons in A-Class. Um, let's filter it. A-Class... Super Saloons, see what we got, and I will try and pick from one of these to build up. R7 could be kind of nice. We could do an M5, big V10, loud V10. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to do that. Lemo again, super sick. <laughs> it's not Super Saloon, why is it in Super Saloons? And we also have Coupes as well that, are, that they put in, in Super Saloons, and an estate. Yeah, cool, whatever. Um... I'm kind of tempted to use the M5 just because of the sound. That could be, that could be something that that I'm kind of interested in in doing. We've used the limo the last time. The limo was very very fun to drive. Yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one of these M5s. I'm gonna build one of these up. I think power wise is fun. I think what we really need for it is weight reduction and I think a bit of downforce as well as some slightly better tires. So let's swap over to this. I'll go build it up. We'll see what sort of parts will change on it. Um, but I want this thing to, like, scream as we're doing races as well. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, let's, uh, hop over to the festival slide. I think an M I think the M5 is, is perfect for this. It is a street race, though, so we have to be kind of careful with what we're doing here. I think power-wise, like I said, is not really going to be worth doing anything there. I think weight reduction, though, is definitely going to be a thing with this thing, because it's quite heavy. Um, race suspension could also be really good for it. Uh, brakes, it's already got big old brakes, but it wouldn't hurt to upgrade these. It's not too bad. Anti-roll bars don't really change too much anyway, in terms of stats, but they actually do change the way the car drives quite a bit, so that's fine. Visually, I, I really don't want to put, like, parts on this thing, but I think I have to, unfortunately. Just because they're now adjustable and I can actually have more downforce. Um, and then tires. Tires are something that I kind of want to put onto this thing. Okay, interesting. Well, I mean, it already brings this thing up into S1. Our handling goes up by a lot. Everything pretty much goes up by quite a lot here. Um, I'm just looking at acceleration and braking and all that sort of stuff. Launch for whatever reason <laughs> goes down if I do that. What are we at now on the rear? 285s? Jesus. And then 255s. Hmm. Big, big, hmm. Big, big, hmm. Uh, what can we really do on this thing? Should I just not get rid of as much weight, maybe? Get rid of the carbon ceramics and just do the... Oh, God. Okay, that's perfect, actually. Okay. Um, Transmission and all that, I feel like... Is it really necessary to change it? It is a little clunky on this. We, we know that. It's a robotized manual gearbox, so when you change gears, it goes. Eh, dun, eh. It takes a while. 
for whatever reason, our, our clutch doesn't change our shift time. At all. Which is very strange. Um, it sounds good. I mean, we haven't really changed anything there. We can probably do this and adjust our final drive. Maybe? It doesn't really take away or add anything. But we unlock the final drive. Actually, that's that's kind of worth it. And then a diff as well. We definitely need a diff on this thing. I'm trying to figure out what can we really change on this thing. Yeah, the, the, the original exhaust sounds the best for it. Yeah, I don't really know if there is anything else that we can really change on this car. Right now. Maybe track width? Track width can, can help a little bit with, with handling and that. It's not going to be that much different. Yeah, we'll we'll keep it like this. I'm, I'm down to keep it like this. I also want to change it to the to the blue color. I think I think the blue is is the best on this uh, on the M5. So let's change over to that paint car. Boom. It's this, right? It's a little dark, isn't it? I thought it was a little brighter. Weird. E60 M5 is so cool, man. What's this? Imola red. <laughs> I know some of the paints for this. One of them is Alpine White, I think, which is probably that one. And then Emola Red, and then I can't remember what the some of these other ones are. I feel like this one should be a little brighter, no? I don't know. I do want it in blue, though, regardless. I think it, I think it looks really good. Even this color is really, really nice. I can't remember the name of it, though. All right, cool. It's fine. We'll roll like this. I feel like I've spent enough time just building this thing up, but uh, it's cool because I, I, I like doing this. I like building these up. Uh, now I need to actually adjust my tune slightly. It's a street race as well. So, we have to be kind of careful. Alright, I'm ready. I think so, anyway. I think I'm ready. I tried to keep my gear ratios kind of long. Just in case I need grip. Oh, what am I accelerating out of corners? Panning is good. Oh, I think they're good, actually. Maybe a tiny bit too long, but... Grip is nice. I think I built this really nicely. Just a tad bit of oversteer. Yeah, this is good. Alright, let's search for it. Let's finally head in. And uh, let's start racing. Two minutes? Jesus. Okay, at least it gets... Let's me get accustomed to the car a little bit more. I've given it down for us. My final drive hasn't really changed that much. I kind of left it very similarly to the way it was original. It drives nicely. I, I like it. It's nice and smooth. It's not particularly fast. Then again, it is an A-class. I mean, it's not slow by any means. but It's not really that fast. Yeah, maybe gear ratio slightly shorter would probably be a little better. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to shorten them. Because technically this is a 7-speed, and I, I'm not really using 7 speeds. I'm just using 5-speed. We're in. We are in. Let's send it. Current car, let's go. I'm I'm ready for this. Let's see if we get good teammates or bad teammates this time around. I'm actually kind of... I, I'm kind of hoping for, for some good teammates. I don't really want to spend too long on this. I feel like so far over the past little while, we've had weirdly average teammates. As in, like, we've had some races where, like, I feel like I struggled quite a bit to carry the team, but... Yeah. I've had a couple of them. I th also think that they messed up with this car, by the way. Because I think their rear lights, they haven't done... Yeah, they haven't. Stupid idiots. They actually ended up not doing the rear lights properly on this thing, because it has really, really nice rear lights, especially, L well, specifically the LCI car, which is what this is. And it doesn't have the proper, the proper side lights at the back being on. What we have? RS6, Lincoln Co. Lincoln Co. is OP as hell. That thing's gonna, I think, dominate. That thing's probably gonna win everything. That guy from my team. Yeah, man, they didn't do the rear lights properly, it's so stupid. The brake lights are fine. The brake lights are, are, are perfectly fine. That's that's what they are. Wow, everybody has a built car as well on my team. This is good. I feel like we're going to absolutely dominate. 
I think we're absolutely going to dominate everybody from, from the driver tie team. We'll see, though. We'll see. Yeah, rear lights are, are screwed up on this thing. It's very annoying. Because this thing has really beautiful lights at the back. They're like... Oh, my bad. This thing has really beautiful lights at the back. The LCI car. Oh, being brake checked by the AI. Yeah, nice one. What are these melons doing? AI as well. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god, this is a... Wow, this is so good at turning in. Oh my god, I didn't expect that. That was mad. How nicely this thing turns in. Hello, fellas. Come on, Panamera, me and you. Hit it. What is this guy doing? Whatever he's doing. We'll just try and ignore him, go past him, and... Go about my business. I really like the Sam 5. I've built such a good car. The sound of that V10 as well, in Guanajuato, like, in this, oh god, I didn't step out wide there, that was, that was my fault, went a bit too fast. Little bit too fast. Wow, this is boring, boys, come on, we gotta catch up, that Lincoln coach should be winning. I'm also very happy that I shortened my gear ratio slightly. Or my final drive, at least. Acceleration out of corners is much better. Doesn't feel as sluggish. But the cornering on it, I didn't expect it to be so, like, agile and nimble, and it just puts itself in the corners so nicely. It's not, even stock, it's not that bad of a car, but it's not, like, it, it definitely feels heavy. Whereas now, with the weight reduction, and the way I've built my suspension, anti-roll bars, and springs and dampers and that, it is lovely to drive. Uh-oh. 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 Please keep these positions, boys. Please. That's 50 points. Oh my god, the state of it. <laughs> the absolute state of it. I've built a really good M5. I'm, I'm really liking this thing. Okay. Please just keep these positions. Don't change. I think, I think we're good. <laughs> I think, I'm just patiently waiting here to see. Okay, yeah, we're good. How is that Lincoln Cole guy at 11th place, man? It makes no sense to me. Oh my god, someone DNF'd. <coughs> wow. Wow. Okay. The carry is very much real this week as well. I feel like I can't name the video the same thing, though. I feel like I can't name every single one of these trial videos carrying my teammates to victory. I, I can't do it. It'll just be so boring. I hate to try and think of another title for this video. Sure, you'll see it when it comes out. You'll see what the title is. <laughs> it'll definitely be have, it'll have to do something with this engine anyway, because it sounds glorious. It's actually a very realistic sound for this. If you've ever heard one of these M5s, completely stock by the way, it it does have the sound of a V10, but it's not, like, insanely loud. As soon as you start putting, like, um, the carbon fiber, like, uh, intake planums, and you also have, like, an exhaust in it or something like that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Then it's, like, it screams. But like this, it, it's not overly loud. It's, like, a tiny bit muted, but it's understated. It actually sounds quite good in this game. I have to give props to the Playground Games for the sound for this thing. It actually sounds quite realistic. 
Alright. Starting at the back again, I think. Right? Can't see. No, I don't think I'm at the back. So this is full on just racing in Guanajuato. This is not gonna be fun for everyone else. Just have to be kinda careful. I'm not at the back, I'm actually at the front. I mean, you can beep your way all you want. Just don't push me. Or don't crash into me. Nice, yeah. Stupid AI. Oh, careful. I need to make sure that these guys don't... Oh, please. So you can get away from these guys. Okay. I need to catch the... You guys, the number one and number two spot. I see this guy. Catch him. We're already pretty much halfway done. Come on, M5. You have it. You absolute beast of a car. How is that a super saloon, by the way? A convertible SL sports car. Come on, SL. Come on. We carry our team. Go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I kind of wish that we could have caught that guy. I mean, I did I did kind of get stuck behind a bunch of people, but like... It was kind of annoying, the start of this race. People overtook me and then obviously did crappy AI and their terrible driving somehow managed to keep me back. But it's fine. That was... Uh, that went a lot smoother than I thought it was, the second race. The first one was very iffy. I mean, we only won by like 50 points. And uh, that was a bit questionable, but... I'm, I'm actually quite happy with this one. The second one we dominated the, the entire team. Except for that one guy that's just randomly staying ahead. But yeah, I think if I... Um, yeah, man. The SL is just such a weird car to have as a super saloon. Like, what is going on in... <laughs> I swear to God, I feel like there's people... Oh, hello. I feel like there's people at Playground Games that just don't know cars. They just don't know what cars are. Or how it works. Or how they get categorized. I don't know why. It just feels like that to me. Anyway, doesn't matter. That's it for the M5. Thank you for watching today's trial video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I will actually share the share code for this thing if you want to use it yourselves and, and give it a shot. So it will be up on the screen at some point uh, during this video, probably at the start after I just finished building it. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day.